with Robert Terhart. Became friends with this great man in uh, Winnemucca, Nevada. When we go to the High Desert Top Truck Challenge. He's got a 77 Ford F-150. You might know him from YouTube. He's done a uh, quite a few donuts in the snow. Got some pretty good videos out there. Pretty stoked to really get to hang with this guy. And like I said, in Winnemucca, we became buddies. He signed up, here he is, he made it the big show. Been off-roading for 20 years. All about his family, working on his rig, running the axle techs. I don't know if you know what the axle techs are. Axle techs are stronger than base of mountain. Runs that Northwest Fab Titan box, built C6 auto, 460, 150 shot of nitrous. And playing, he's ready to climb to the top of the food chain. Robert Terhar, let's put your hands together for him. He's here, this is gonna be his third Mountain Havoc in a row. This is Green Willie. Ralph Garza's body shop does the paint. He's on his intercos, hooked up by Ams Oil. He's down with Warren. We've got McNeil racing on his side. Motor Works, 208 Motorsports, which by the way, after this event tonight, we're doing a party sponsored by 208 Motorsports right here, big bonfire, lots of beers. officially kick this off right now. Looks like we've got both drivers ready. Mom Pass versus Tear Hard, Oregon Crew. And uh, boy, we had a couple step up this year. Got to give a shout out to Amsoil, supplying fluids for this and uh, helping us out, helping us get this great event off the ground. So Amsoil, thank you very much. Also like to thank Tough Country and the whole family involved. Mr. Green Willie, Stephen Mont Pass. Dudes in the sport right here, Mr. Justin Half coming out of Oregon, part of that Oregon crew and his triple X bouncer. It's not triple X, it's X rated, excuse me. What do you guys think of this machine? He's here to climb to that top of that food chain. He came to our qualifier. He comes in Winnemucca, Nevada, does the high desert talk truck that we're involved with also. Like I said, one of the baddest dudes of the sport, whether you know it net yet or not. He's here to prove it this weekend, Mr. Justin Haft and crew. Give it up.
another Nardog out of Canada. He's here to send it. Mr. Adam Furlong. He's got Andrew York as co-driver. This is the Pemberton Valley Painting Crew from up north of the border. Hick City Clothing. He's sponsored by Napa, Lord Co. Auto Parts, Kamikaze Customs, TMR, Evolution Machine. He's got some of that Clay Crouch parts on his rig. Western Canadian Rockwell, Voodoo Ropes, North Shore Off-Road, Cold Smoke Industries. This is 79 Scout, first gen Cummins. We've got a Baker Turbo, Injectors, Pump Mods, running a 727 205. Stronger than base of mountain, Axle Tech 4000 axles. Yeah. Running those Evolution Machine Rams, can't beat that. Got them myself. Pro Fender Coilovers, he's running some bypasses on all corners. These guys are here to party. They're here to win this event too, but they're really just here to party. Yeah. All right, you're good to go. Good luck, boys. They'll take care of you. You'll be a happy customer. This is part of Team Morgan. This is Brett Harrell, ladies and gentlemen. Team Change Order, part of Team Morgan. He's got Neil in the Kodak seat. He's got twin turbo, nasty five threes, brand new cut out tires. He's got some two inch open sim, some ORI shocks. He's running that Northwest Fab Titan box. Running that full hydro front and rear steering, 20 inch shocks, double feet locks. He's got those cut 54 inch eggs. Brett's a huge part of this sport, whether you know it or not. Now you're going to know it. He helps out with us here at the ranch. He helps uh, arrange a dozer for us to build this event. This event wouldn't be the same without Mr. Harold and his family uh, helping us out. So uh, if you get a chance, shake his hand, tell him thank you because he added to this weekend a lot. All right, Brad, you're good to go, man. Good luck. off on these rigs. I watched them build three at the same time in Canada. Best teamwork I've ever seen. They show up to the powder coater with three rigs to powder coat. The painter, three rigs to paint. 
The guys must drive them nuts. Anyway, a brand new rig, tested a little bit. This is barely legal. Greg Tory coming out of Canada. first 2007 to be honest with you it's been all over the place it's been a hammer it's been a top truck several times now owned by mr brian fox straight out of canada it's got some gigantic planetary axles on it some monstrous night stalker coilovers it looks like i could be wrong on that brand i'll have to double check nope i'm right right on he switched out he's got monster truck drop case now he used to have a v drive in it uh, he posted over a thousand horsepower. He's got some of the biggest ag tires uh, at the ranch this weekend. Mr. Foss is here to put on Monster Truck Show. He's here to win. He's hungry. Right on, guys. Good luck. For him. Next up, my boy Jason Gray. Love hooking up with this guy. Jason and Ken Gray, what an awesome family. Love seeing these guys at different events. You might know them from Top Truck Challenge or Four Wheeler Magazine or King of the Hammers. One of my Havoc representatives this year, down at King of the Hammers. He shows up for the Backdoor Challenge. This dude holds it down. He doesn't care. He will rip the whole back of this rig off this weekend if he has to. He's here to win. truck with the bucket on it and scared me as we put up lights. Alright, looks like we're ready to race again.
weekend. And then uh, we'll do it with the Giants. They can laugh at us. Anyway, tomorrow night, a and Press Gases, good friends of mine as well. They support everything out here at the PTR. All eyes on me, Jay Cooper. Straight out of Canada, no drama racing. Zero drama racing. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any drama. I know this rig. I've known this rig a while. He used to belong to a guy named Jeremy, I believe, right? Somebody from way across the country. It's had a few different owners now owned by Mr. Jay Cooper. He's rocking his Tough Country stickers. He's sponsored by his lovely wife, Natalie, who's a, a blast to hang out with. We love kicking with her. She comes down to these events as well. You got Blue Nose Racing, Cooper's Metal Surfaces. It's also Natalie's birthday today. Happy birthday, girl. Hopefully your guy can wipe with this course. Stay in first place going into Saturday. You got a Bill 383 Stroker built by the famous Dan Osterhout. You got to be an awesome motor then. You got an Avalanche chassis pushing about 450 horse. He tries to wheel at least once a day, either on a dirt bike, quad, side by side, or a 76 green Dodge. Sometimes he wheels his work truck. Oh. Member of Team Extreme out of Canada. They put on events too. We just gave a spot out for Havoc uh, to the, one of their top guys up there at their last event. Romantic dinners, long walks on the beach is what he says. Loves his awesome crew of friends, wrenching, helping his buddies, and uh, all working together on these badass rigs. So, all right, man. Welcome to Havoc, Mr. Jay Cooper. Good luck. <laughs> this man needs no introduction. You know who he is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pork Chop right here. He's got Mr. Dave Green, legendary Champions Cup winner from the Top Truck Challenge. Dave also won one of the other years, I want to say it was 09 perhaps. That's right, I got it right. I know my TTC history. Pork Chop's one of the hungriest drivers around, one of the most aggressive drivers around. He's got a little attitude when it comes to going through rocks. He likes to skinny pedal, he likes to bounce through. He's running these 42 inch ag tires, propane. Pork Chop is not messing around. Tied for first last year, lost by the tiebreaker, so he was the second place finisher. He is not taking that again this year. He's coming to win this year. He told me that right away last year. I can't wait to see what he does this weekend. Good luck, boys. Pork Chop represent Canada to the absolute fullest. He's also involved in that whole racing up there. He's a big part of this sport. I'm happy to have you here. Man, thank God. We got the Coalition Crawling Crew out of California. Coalition Crawlers, they handle all our recovery here. They spend their own time. This is their vacation. They come up to make this happen. They believe in this sport. They were part of Top Truck as well. Now they're part of Mountain Havoc. They're here to stay. Give it up for the Coalition Crawlers. The race is on. Still a solid run. Nice job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Corey Johnson coming out of Alberta. 
he was in that extreme race the other weekend. They gave him a spot to come down, so he must be pretty worthy, I guess. I haven't seen him drive yet, but uh, if those boys are going to send him, I think we're in for something special. He's running the boggers. He's got a 400-horse circuit track motor in his 95 Jeep YJ. Run that Atlas 3.8 case, 14 rear. Did a 60 front. Oh, he's got some RCVs. Nice. I'm down with RCV. I sell them all the time. I've ran them. They take great care of us. RCV is an awesome company. Ran them with 44-inch bogs. Got the Stazworks double bead locks. This is the truck's last race being stripped down for a redesign or sold. So you don't care if he scratches it. He doesn't care if he scratches it. He's here to throw down. I've heard a lot about this guy. I'm really excited to see him race. I know we're in for something special. Co-driver, Joseph Schreiber. We've got about 15 years experience here. Joseph's a uh, heavy duty mechanic. Ooh, these boys are racing Ultra 4400 class this year. Boy, these boys are going to be something to watch. Good luck, fellas. Good luck, Corey. Welcome to Purcell Trench Ranch, Mountain Havoc 2017. I don't know if you can see it from our nice view. Beautiful, 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 beauti
last week to win. We'll see what happens with Mr. Zanko. Hopefully he's okay. country sticker he's running those 360 70 yard 20 BKT stickers on as well we want to support the people that support us I appreciate that decided uh, we'll put him in habit, see what he does. So he's here ready to rock. We got him to tech in. He calls this rig the Prospector. This is Hill Built Fabrication, Abe Hill. One of those acts of tech for thousands. Unbreakable, stronger than the basic mountain. Super solid build. Hill Built Propane. That's why we run five different events. They will all have their strong ones. They will all have their weak ones. Here we go. We have prospector. Jake Frazier and his younger. These tires might be a little hard for him to pull. He's got a right wrist and some heavy axles. Not very much traction, but that's okay. What do I say? We can do this against the strong events. call here from the judge to see exactly what's going to happen.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Christian, Money Pit off road. We got the Money Pit 2.0 here. Top Truck Challenge champion. Came out here last year, whooped up on these courses. So close to taking a win. It's part of the rivalry between Mr. Porkchop and Leroy and Matt Christian here. One of the longest drives out of any of the competitors. One of my avid representatives from King of the Hammers in the Backdoor Challenge. You will never meet a nicer guy. Awesome builder, got a great shot. Can't wait to see what he does. Got a brand new supercharger on this thing. Right on that, Christian, good luck. Welcome to Mountain Hat 2017, man. Sponsored by Rockwell Off-Road. ORI Struts, part of that Tough Country crew as well. Got friends in the Southern Rock Racing Series. Everybody who knows him, loves him. Get a chance to meet him tonight. Let's give it up for the champ, Mr. Leroy Latham. This is a monster buggy, great inspiration to everybody. Got a great threat on Pirate. I think he's inspired to have just as many rigs or more than anybody else, any other builder out there. He's won the last two Mountain Havoc events here. He's won all the Mountain Havoc events that have been here in the United States. He is the champion, I don't even know how many years in a row, nine or 10 years in a row for Idaho Top Truck Challenge. He puts on the High Desert Top Truck Challenge that we're involved in in Winnemucca, Nevada. We'll be back this year. One of the greatest guys in the game, always good to talk to. Hope you get a chance to meet him, check out his rig. We'll see if he can pull off another win. Mountain Havoc 2017, Leroy Latham. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Just added a ton of nitrous. He knows these guys are showing with some power. He's, uh, he's gonna adapt and conquer like he's always done. Definitely the man to watch this weekend. Part of that rivalry between uh, Trent Lane, Mr. Matt Christian. Yeah. Chester Beck just pulled up. He's got a poor boy sticker on his on his rig. This is International Scout coming out of Utah. Chester's a big supporter of all these events, races, high desert top truck. He's got his wife Char in the co-drog seat. says his wife is absolutely awesome and I definitely have to agree with that. With a nice visit out on the hill climb earlier today. Jetson's also one of those Axle Tech uh, boys. Been running them for a while now. He's tested them fully throughout. And uh, like I like to say, Axle Tech 4000 is strong like Basin Mountain. Running some King Bypasses on the back. All right, Jetson, hook it up, man. Good luck.
Contestants also part of that Idaho Top Truck Challenge crew. I've raced against them several times myself. Up himself. I think this is a family built chassis. He showed up last year. Did really well on our courses. Qualified last year, qualified this year. Running some nice poggers. We're gonna see what he's got for us. He's got the Tough Country competitor sticking on. He's down with those guys. He calls his rig the stepchild. Four wheel parts sponsors him. He's got some Dirty Birdie off-road stickers on there. He's the Bud Muncher. Let's see what he's got. Right on, good luck, Ken Martin. Stopping for a reason. Case, 14 bolt front and rear 456 gears 
He's been wheeling since he got his license. He's been racing this disturbed buggy for three years. Internet famous, YouTube famous, just because he's too far away for me to go watch him in person. That's all gonna change. I'm gonna have to go down and visit these guys. Made a new friend this weekend. Jimmy Smith's gonna hold this throttle down all weekend long. He's already laughing at my hill climb, I can tell. Jimmy, welcome to Mountain Avenue 2017. Welcome to Idaho, my man. Good luck this weekend. Shut it off. Now you guys can check this thing out a little bit. What a beautiful rig. Mike Flake put this together, is that correct? Mr. Mike Flake, nice. We've got a Bill 427 big block with the turbo. Running 400, 205 twin stick. You got those rock wells, you running those big shafts or what? Not running big shafts yet? Okay, well you want them, we all want them, right? What a nice, what a nice rig. This is the Infidel buggy. He's part of that Canadian crew that all sticks together. They all build rigs together and uh, it's amazing. They'll put up new pictures on Facebook all at the same time of what they all built together that same night. Pretty darn incredible. Love seeing this new rig here. He's gonna be a guy to watch. Got his bugs worked out a couple weeks ago. This is Rob Neal and the Infidel rigs together. Good luck, boy.
smell that exhaust. You guys like that kind of vehicular violence and horsepower that we bring to you here at the PTR? Let him know it. Let Jimmy hear it. You want to see more of that? Let's let Jimmy have it. Damn! They love you out here, man. Awesome. We'll unhook you. We'll get you out of here, and uh, we just want to see you hit that hill climb tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.